first at six, several roads are washed out in Lewiston, Auburn from flash flooding Tuesday night. Crews spent the day today picking up the crumbling asphalt from the Auburn River Walk. Sidewalks are left with washed out debris and dozens of tenants are now forced out of their homes after rainwater ran down their stairs last night. CBS 13's Owen Kingsley shows us one apartment building in Lewiston that is now condemned after residents rushed out late last night. Several tenants of this apartment building on Union Street had to sleep in tents or on the front lawn last night with nowhere to go. My apartment is flooded, dude. Rain pounded down on the Lewiston Auburn area Tuesday night. Pavement by the Auburn Riverwalk crumbling away. It's just it just happened so quick. This apartment on Union Street in Lewiston was condemned after rain gushed down each floor. When I was pouring down the hallway and down all the staircases, it was it almost looked like the scene from the Titanic. I was in the middle of my work shift and I just heard everyone. We got to get out. The building's 10 units are uninhabitable. And dozens of people have nowhere to go. The Red Cross is now trying to help find emergency housing, but several people had to sleep outside last night. Where are you staying right now? You're looking at it. The tent behind you? <laughs> the tent behind me. About half of us slept out front on the ground because we didn't have anywhere else to go. Tenants are forced to put multiple pets into small crates. It's okay. Derek Sluhockey has three cats still inside his flooded unit. Because they're inside cats and he has nowhere to go, he fears he will have to surrender them. I've been there throughout the day and they're fine right now, but we're probably going to end up having to put them in an animal shelter. They can't be outside. They're not outdoors cats. They wouldn't survive. Lewiston Code Enforcement believes the drains on the roof were probably overwhelmed, forcing the water to go down inside the building. Central Maine Property Management owns the building, and Lewiston Code Enforcement says that there have been no code violations relating to the roof or the drains. In Lewiston, I'm Owen Kingsley, CBS 13 News.